The children's author, Judith Kerr, best known for her book, The Tiger Who Came to Tea, has died at the age of 95. It sold five million copies and has never been out of print. Her publisher paid tribute, saying she was a brilliantly talented storyteller. Daniela Ralph looks back at her career. Judith Carr was in her 40s when she wrote The Tiger Who Came to Tea. A former art teacher and scriptwriter turned full-time mother of two small children. It got really very boring. I mean, you go for a walk and have tea, and then that was it, really. And we, we, we wished somebody would come. And uh, so I thought, well, um, why not have a tiger come? And so that's where the story came from, really. She drew the pictures to a story she'd previously told her daughter. The tiger was friendly, not fierce. His appearance mildly surprising, not downright surreal. The book was a runaway success. Judith Carr had been drawing since childhood in pre-war Berlin. Her father was a prominent theatre critic and a critic of the Nazis. The family was forced to flee when Hitler came to power. She later wrote of her experiences in When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit, a translation of the book became a set text in German schools. In London, she went to art school and worked as a designer before marrying and starting a family. When her son protested that the books he was learning to read from were too boring, she embarked on the Mog series about a family cat using, as she said, as few words as possible, as well as possible. Mog is dead. Sorry to be brutal about it to those of you who are brought up on the Mog the Cat stories, but there's no getting away from the fact that after 30 years of Mog books, Judith Carr, her creator, has killed her off. Killing the central character was almost unprecedented in a children's book. But then the energetic Carr was an unusual children's writer who had confronted the possibility of death when herself a child. She always said she wrote for those many children in Nazi-dominated Europe who, unlike her, did not survive to live full and happy lives. Judith Carr, who's died at the age of 95.